I just got a question from Alex asking how to save prompts as templates in cloud desktop. I think this is one of the many useful things with MCP that not a lot of people are aware of. For example, on my cloud desktop, if I click on the connector icon under the prompt templates server, I have a few prompt templates saved. And I can choose one of the prompts without retyping the prompt again. Very, very useful feature in cloud desktop if you have a bunch of templates that are just sitting around. I'm going to assume you already know how to set up an MCP server in Python. If not, you can check out my video on how to get started with MCP server in Python tutorial from the link in the description below. Here in your code editor, create a Python file, and I'm going to name the file prompt-demo.py. The file name is not very important, as long as it is descriptive. Go ahead, set up an MCP server object. And I will name the server prompt demo. Next, create a Python function to return a prompt template as string. Unfortunately, Cloud Desktop does not support dynamic prompt from MCP, at least not yet. So there is no way to pass a variable. But from what I heard, the feature will be supported pretty soon. To convert the function as a prompt template from the MCP object, Use the prompt decorator to register the function as a reusable prompt. Then in the terminal, use the MCP install to add the prompt server to Cloud Desktop. And also make sure you save the Python file in the project directory. Once the prompt MCP server is added to Cloud Desktop, restart your Cloud Desktop. If you click on the connector icon, you should see the prompt demo server is now listed. And underneath is the welcome email template prompt. Now I can simply select the prompt. Type any additional information as context and send the request. That's all for this video. I hope you find the tip useful. And if there are any tutorial ideas you have in mind and you would like me to cover, please leave them in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Happy coding. See you in the next one.